packing the Dell multifunction printer. Uh, when we're done using the equipment, we'll start the process by um, unhooking all the cables and properly coiling them, which we've already done here. Um, and then we're going to inventory all of our items. We've already pulled out the inventory sheet and we're just gonna make sure we got all the pieces, the cards to the printer and the various cables. There should be two Cat5 cables, the USB cable and the power cable for the printer. And then we've got a power supply and phone cable that go with the ATA box here. And then inside the case itself will be this weird piece of foam that goes in the printer here, and we'll see that in a moment. And then there's the spare toner cartridge. Now, uh, all of the smaller cables in the ATA box are gonna go inside the little goodie bag here. Just gonna slide all these in here. So the bag is gonna go into the front part of the printer here and the out, where the output tray is. We're just gonna slide it as far back as it'll go. And then we're gonna take our two Cat5 cables and slide them in that same area also. They might need to overlap a little bit. Just kind of sit in there. Now this piece of foam is gonna go over here on the tray on the top. Just kind of lift this up a little bit and it's gonna kind of pop in there. All nice and snug. Let me go the other way. All right. And then we will grab the printer by the lift points. In this case, it's here and then on the back. And then we're going to lift it up and place it down into the case, making sure it's orientated correctly. And once that's all in there, make sure that we place the spare toner cartridge box. So there is still one available uh, back in the case there. Mark everything off our inventory sheet, sign that off, place that back here. And then this is ready to get closed and handed off to customer service for some final steps.